welcome. My name is Wendy and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're ready to move, to stretch, and to strengthen. We're going to be feeling really good by the time this class is over. So again, thanks for joining me and I hope you're ready to get started. All you need is a chair or something to sit in. If you have arms on your chair today, perfect. We're not gonna be doing any standing at all. So everything we're gonna do is right in our chair. Make sure you have some water close by and feel free to take a water break at any point throughout this class. Uh, knowing that this class is just for you, make sure that you're doing all the moves that feel good for you. So if something doesn't feel right, it's okay to back out of it. And I'll throw out some different adjustments um, along the way. Just listen into your body. We want you to feel good when you're done, not like you hurt yourself. So again, if there's something that doesn't feel right for your body, it is okay to back out of it. Just keep moving, whether it's just doing some shoulder shrugs or some knee lifts, just something that you're moving with. With that being said, let's get started. So we'll start with our hands on our lap and just start to make some circles with our shoulder. Begin warming everything up before we start moving. Good, and go ahead and reverse, bringing those shoulders forward. Now just relax your shoulders down away from your ears and we'll squeeze our shoulders up and then slowly let them release down and away from your ears. Let's do that two more times, up and down and up and down. Good. Go ahead and drop your chin down to your chest. Again, relax your shoulders away from your ears. And we'll bring our eyes center, slowly looking towards the sky, but not back so far that you're compressing your spine. You want to still be able to breathe here. Relax your throat. Relax your jaw, your face. And we'll come back to center. Let's drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. And we'll come back to center, dropping our left ear to our left shoulder. And we'll make our way back to center. Let's just look to the right. And center, looking to the left. And center. From here, we'll bend at the elbows and start to circle through your wrists one way. And then go ahead and reverse. Wiggling your fingers and don't forget your thumbs. Good. Give your hands a little shake. And then we'll bring our hands to our thighs again. We can either keep them right here or we can bring them to our knees. If you're not already forward in your chair, feel free to get there. It'll help you to be able to move a little bit more. So speaking of moving, we're gonna move our spine and our hips. So let's just make some circles here. Making your circle as big or as little as it needs to be. Again, just listening to your body. Your circle doesn't have to be as big as mine. You can go a little slower as well. Try not to go any faster though. We'll make one more big circle around and then go ahead and reverse, going in the opposite direction. Looking good. Hopefully this feels good. So let's come back to center and we'll start to move our spine in a different direction now starting to flex through our spine and extend. So we wanna take our hands to our knees, round your upper back and gently tuck your chin towards your chest. This is our cat pose. And then we'll come into cow by dropping our belly down, bringing our heart forward, looking up straight ahead. Good, let's do this two more times. So we'll round our spine, tucking our chin just gently, then dropping our belly, bringing our chest through looking straight ahead one more time round through our spine and then drop your belly bring that chest forward now push into your hands and we'll sit up nice and tall roll your shoulders all the way down your back and we'll take our hands to our side if we have arms on our chair we can just rest them on the outside of our arms and then we'll lift our right arm all the way up to the sky take a big breath in 
And then when you exhale, let's let that hand come down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Left arm lifts. And release down. We'll do that one more time and then we'll add on to this. So as that arm comes out and up, making sure that the shoulder stays down your back. We don't want to pull our shoulder up towards our ear here. Just keep your shoulder and your neck relaxed. All right, well, here's where we're going to add on. So let's lift our right arm all the way up and then we'll just gently tip to the left. Coming back through to center. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So left arm lifts and we'll just fold to the right. Good. Coming back to center, let's do that one more time. Right arm lifts and we fold. Coming back through to center, let's do the same thing on the other side. Up and over and we'll make our way back to center. So let's do a little gentle twist here. So listening to your body again, going only as deep as your body tells you. So with this twist, we'll take our right hand to the back of our chair or the back arm, and then our left our hand will come to the outside of our thigh. Maybe this is as deep as we go with our twist, keeping our belly button facing forward. Maybe we go a little deeper. So if we're gonna go deeper, let's sit up nice and tall, lengthening through your spine. So imagine that someone has a string going from the crown of your head towards the sky. We really wanna sit up nice and tall. Perfect, again, we can stay right here, or we can start that twist from our hips, then our shoulders, and then our eyes can just gently follow, looking over that back shoulder. As we take a big breath in, we'll sit up nice and tall, and as we exhale, let's take that back arm and sweep it all the way over to the opposite knee, rounding through our upper back, gently tucking our chin down towards our chest, Open your arms out nice and big, look towards the sky, and then as you come back with your eyes center, give yourself a nice big hug. Oh, that should feel really good. A little self-love. It's always nice to get a hug. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. We'll bring our hands down to our thighs to start. Sweep that left hand behind you, and then the right hand can come to our thigh, sitting up nice and tall either staying forward with our belly button facing forward or asking for that little bit of a twist from our hips. Shoulders and our eyes can follow. Inhale to lengthen the spine, remember our string. And then as we exhale, let's sweep that back arm all the way up and over to the opposite knee, gently relaxing our chin to our chest and opening those arms out nice and wide, looking towards the sky, opening up the whole front of our body before we go and reverse that hug. Should feel a little awkward, but still really nice. Oh, perfect. Let's go ahead and bring our hands down to our thigh, and we'll open up that chest a little bit more. So we'll sweep our hands to the chair behind us. Sit up nice and tall, and then just start to squeeze your shoulder blades towards one another, making sure that our shoulders are relaxed. Great, let's release our hands down. So for this next move, we can do one of two things. We can hold on to our chair and just lift our right leg up, or if we can, grabbing underneath that right leg. So if we can grab underneath, we'll start to circle through our ankle. Maybe we're just holding on, that's okay as well. Just circling through our ankle one way. And then go ahead and reverse. And we'll start to point and flex, point and flex. And one more time to point and flex. Good, now if we can, let's straighten that leg all the way out. Both hands go to our bent knee. We'll sit up nice and tall. Start to hinge forward, hinging at your hips, looking straight ahead or down at an angle. We want to keep that spine nice and long. Perfect, we'll sit up nice and tall, bring that foot in, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So again, either holding on if we need to, or if we can hold underneath that leg, feel free. And then we'll start to circle through our ankle one way, and reverse and we'll point and flex point and flex and last time to point and flex 
relax, good. So now we'll straighten that leg, heel down, toe up, both hands go on that bent knee, roll your shoulders down your back, start to hinge at your hips as you bring your chest forward. And again, we're either looking uh, straight ahead or down at an angle. And we'll sit up nice and tall. Let's bring that foot in. Take a big breath in, fill your lungs, exhale it all the way out. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale and exhale. All right, well, we're stretched out, so let's get our hearts pumping just a little bit. Hands can hold on to the side of your chair if you need to, underneath your chair, or they can rest right on your lap. So we're just gonna march. One leg comes up and then the other. Going at your own pace here, maybe we're going really slow. Maybe we're going a little bit quicker in a march. So whichever serves your body best, we're just marching up and down. Try to keep your feet nice and quiet like you're tiptoeing rather than stamping your foot down. It works into your belly just a little bit here and it really starts to warm up your body as well. So we'll do this a few more times. Good, now from here we're just gonna take it out, out, in, in. So it's a little step out, a little step out, a step in, and in. Let's see if we can do it. And again, if this is too much for you, just come back to that little march. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Holding on to your chair if you need to. Just have fun with it. We'll do two more. The last one, let's come right back to that march where we started. March, march. Again, going at your own pace. And then we're gonna change it, we're gonna reverse. So now our left leg is gonna lead as we take it out, out, in, in. So let's do that. Hold here, take it out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Good, so you should start to feel your heart pumping a little bit here, starting to warm your body up. Out, out, in, in. Keep it going. A few more times. Last one, good, come back to that march. All right, so we're gonna change this up now. Either staying right here if you need to, or we can take a little heel dig to the front. Heel, heel. Heel, heel. So if we really want to get our hearts racing, we can add some arms. We can pull the elbows back. Just watch your chair. Or our hands can stay low. Your choice. Let's do two more. Here's one and two. Come back to that march. Maybe using some arms, maybe not. We'll take it out, out, in, in, right leg leads, out, out, in, in, just two more. Last one, march it out, same thing, left leg leads, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, last one. Good, now start to slow it down. We had our hearts up there pretty high, let's slow things down. Good, let's do those heel digs again, nice and slow, right? And in, left, and in, one more, right, and in, and left. In, perfect, let's take a big breath in, and exhale down. From here we're gonna do some bicep curls, so we wanna take the palms of our hands forward, and open your hands up nice and wide. Try not to clench through your hands. And we'll just try to touch our shoulders, release it down. Up and down. Good, keep it moving. You look great. We'll do a few more here. Oh, let's go three more. Two. And one, good. Now bend those elbows and bring the palms of your hands forward. We're just gonna take our hands out and in. Squeezing your shoulder blades together just a little bit in the back. Perfect. You got this. 
And last one. Good. Now let's do a little punch to the front. So let's make a fist, just a nice gentle fist so that you can still move your fingers. And we'll take our right arm forward and pull it in and then our left arm forward and pull it in. Nice and gentle as we come forward and back. We'll do this two more times and then we're going to cross over our body. So hold it here. Now let's cross over our body. Pull it back in. A little cross and in. Over. In. Good. Two more each side. Last one. All right, shake those arms out. Shake out your shoulders if you need to. Now we're going to bend at the elbow. And just using one arm, we're going to reach for the sky, pull it back down, and then the left arm reaches and down, up and down, up and down. We'll go three more times. If at any point you start to feel out of breath, just release those hands down, give them a little shake. We'll catch up with you in a minute after this one. Okay, good. Just shake everything out. Now we're going to take our hands to our side and just the right arm is going to reach up and down. So you can have your hand open nice and wide, up and down, working into our shoulder. Make sure you're breathing here. Don't hold your breath. We've got one more. And now with your thumb facing forward, we're going to bring that arm out in front. So same arm is moving. Up and down, up and down. Let's do two more here. Here's one and two. We're going right to the other side. Bring it out and down. And if your arms are um, a little bit closer to the edge of the chair, unlike mine, you can just come to the outside of your chair. Just watch your arm. Staying safe. One more. Good. Let's bring that arm forward. Take it up and down. Shoulders are relaxed. Down your back. Bring that arm up like you're going to shake someone's hand. Good. Up and down and up and down. Let's shake it out. All right, well, we worked into our upper body. Let's work a little bit into our legs. Couple choices here. We can hold on to the seat of our chair, to the arms, or we can pull our leg up and hold it here if we need to. So your choice, I'm gonna bring my hands to my seat. We'll lift that right leg up, sitting up tall with your belly pulled in tight. Let's straighten that leg and bend it. So we're just gonna do this six more times. Five, four, three, two, last one. Release it down. Other leg comes up. Take it out and in. Two, three, four. We did eight on the other side. Okay, let's do one more. Release it down. So if you're not forward in your chair, let's get there. Not to the point where you're going to fall off, but enough so that you can move. This last move here is going to be for our outer thighs. So a couple choices, two choices. Either step your foot to the side and pull it back in, or you can lift your leg, take it out and in. Just listen to your hips on this one and go the way your body is telling you is best for you. Either way, sit up nice and tall, shoulders are down, our back bellies are in. I'm going to take my knee off the ground, and, but if you need to step side to side, feel free. So let's take it out and in. Now if you feel like you're shifting around in your chair at all, just make this hinge a little bit shorter. It doesn't have to come out real far. Keep going. We're almost there. We've got two more. And one, release it down. Do the same thing on the other side. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Let's lift that knee. We'll take it out and in. My chair swivels, so it's a little bit of a challenge to keep it forward. Hopefully yours isn't. All right, just a couple more. Out and in and out 
and in, release it down, shake it out. Well, you did amazing. We're gonna do a couple quick stretches before it's time to go. So let's start to roll those shoulders back a few more times. And to the front. Good, one more time to roll those shoulders up, back and down, and rest your hands into your lap. Gently tucking your chin down to your chest. And center, looking towards the sky. Relaxing your jaw and your face. And we'll come back to center, dropping our right ear to our right shoulder. This time, take the palm of your left hand and push it down towards the ground, really feeling that nice stretch through your neck. Coming back through to center, we'll drop our left ear to our left shoulder, pushing the palm of our right hand towards the ground. Great, let's take it back to center. We'll look to the right. And center, and look to the left. And center. This uh, next move is for our upper body, so really being careful of shoulders if you have any issues. Um, and if you can, we'll take that arm out in front, reach it across your chest. Then that left arm comes out in front, and bends to pull that right arm in. So you don't have to go real far. And then start to wiggle your fingers and don't forget your thumbs. Good, let's reach that arm out in front, flip your palm towards the sky. We'll take our left hand underneath our arm, bring that right arm up and back and give yourself a big pat on the back. You did amazing today, I'm so proud of you. And take it down. Let's do the same thing on the other side now. So that left arm comes out in front, reaches across our chest, the right arm comes out in front, and then bends to pull that left arm in. Again, listen to your shoulder. Make sure that this is something that's okay for you. And then we'll start to wiggle our fingers and our thumbs. Maybe saying hello, if anyone is in the room with you. Good, go ahead and release that arm. Bring the palm of the hand to the sky, right arm comes underneath to help reach that left arm up and over. One more time to give yourself a pat on the back. You worked so hard today. I'm super proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself too. All right, release it down. And we'll take the hands to the back of our chair now, just opening up through our chest. One more time to squeeze those shoulder blades towards one another. And release your hands to your knees, coming back to those circles. Just one more on this side. Go ahead and reverse, going in the opposite direction. One more. Good, coming back to center. Let's pull up that right knee if you can, circling through your ankle one way. If you need to keep your foot on the ground, for the circles, feel free to do that as well. Go ahead and reverse. We're holding your knee up. And we'll point and flex, point and flex, and point and flex. Straighten that leg out. Sit up nice and tall. Both hands go to your bent knee and we'll hinge forward, leading with our heart. This time, let's see if we can touch our toes. Maybe yes, maybe no, no judgment. Just go where your body allows. And we'll bring our hand back to the knees, sit up nice and tall, switching sides. So again, either making our circles on the ground or we can pull our knee up, circling in one direction and then reversing. We'll point and flex and point and flex and one last time to point and flex. Let's straighten that leg out. Both hands go to our bent knees. Sit up nice and tall. Then start to hinge forward, leading with your heart. And let's try to see if we can touch our toes on this side. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe one side, maybe not the other. It's all good. And we'll bring our hands to that bent knee. Sit up nice and tall. Bend that left knee. So our very last stretch Imagine that you have a $50 bill and it's underneath your right foot. You don't want anyone to know that it's there, so we're just gonna gently slide it back, keeping your foot on the ground, but sitting up nice and tall. You should feel a big stretch through this 
ankle and up through your calf. And through your shin as well. So let's switch sides. Sitting up tall, now that $50 bill is on this side and you don't want anyone to see it. Keep that heel down as you slide the foot back. Nice work. Go ahead and release that back. It's time to go. I hope you really enjoyed this class though. So let's take a few deep breaths before we end. Big breath in, fill your lungs. Exhale, let it out. Now make these last two counts. So take a big breath in through your nose, open your mouth and exhale with a big sigh. Just let it go. Last time. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining my class today. I really hope you feel a little bit better than when you started. And watch for me because I'll be doing a few more of these. Hopefully we can change it up a little bit and really enjoy your day. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.